that's a fighting skill. He's going for the solar plexus. The chest! The chest! The chest! 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 How did toxic masculinity feel? This video is brought to you by Black Forest Supplements, blackforestsupplements.com. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been taking this new supplement called Turkesterone, and it is invaluable that men like you and I need to have levels of testosterone that are formidable. Because over the years, we've been losing testosterone. I don't know if you know the numbers, but a man 60 years old in 2004 versus a man 60 years old in 1987, about 17% decrease in testosterone. We already know the foods, everything. I don't have to explain it to you. But the reason that I take Turkesterone is because I want to be stronger. I want to have my testosterone levels right. I want to, you know, have a de-stressor. Also, I want to be able to sleep and recover and have weight loss. All of those things are apparent and necessary for men to be the best versions of themselves. So I need you. Link is in the description section if you're interested in getting some of the supplement. And it's very easy to take. All you got to do is take one capsule a day. I actually took one before this video, and now I'm feeling all fired up. But the link is in the description section. It is blackforestsupplements.com forward slash Tatum. You put discount code Tatum10, and you'll get 10% off. Link is in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification. Anytime I go live, make a video. All right, y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, Chad himself, ah, decided to go against, and I don't know if it's, it's, it's it seemed like a little reality show, and it seemed like these are people from uh, Asia. I don't even know where they're at in Asia. It just they ain't American. But they decided to have a little contest between men and women. Now, I don't know if it's staged or not, but, you know, this is clearly, in my opinion, is a clear depiction of the strength level between men and women. Now, everybody's up in arms about this video because it really goes outside of the, the stereotypical behavior that they want men to participate in in America. This is like what real men do against women versus what they want us to believe here in the United States of America, where they're emasculating men on a day to day basis. So I want to play this clip because this dude <laughs> with no mercy destroys this female bodybuilder. And, and the funny thing is, is that this is televised. This is a show. They would never do this in America. Roll the clip. I'm strong enough to lift up and carry most men. I'll make him regret this. Oh! He's out on a stroll. What's he doing? <laughs> He got his hands in his pocket. She is a no factor. With his hands in his pockets. Nice. He's strong though. He's using his technique already. Whoa, she can't flip him over. He won't go over. Whoa. 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 <laughs> awesome. Whoa. Ah, what is this? Whoa. He's laughing at her. He flipped her. Technique. He can't fight back when he uses martial arts techniques. He's on top, it's over. You can't get up either? No, she can't. If the knee's on your stomach, it's game over because you can't breathe. Oh, I see. No, you're stuck like that. He was half sitting on me. And I couldn't break free. He wasn't even that heavy. But I couldn't get up. Release! Uh -huh. It's not fun! It's not fun! <laughs> Let me make an observation real quick. This guy's a little dude. He ain't even like on the on the top of the spectrum of beast mode. He would a, a man that was as buff as she is would ragdoll this guy. But this is a, a I would act, he would probably athletic, very talented. You know, I don't know if his what kind of jujitsu or whatever, but he seems to be very talented. He's skilled, but he's not that big. She's buff. To be, a, she's like at the top of the spectrum for women in strength, and getting manhandled. With that guy, his gaze felt threatening. Gave me chin your prey to hunt him. It's even scarier. Go Chunyi. Oh, that's a fighting skill. Whoa, look at that technique. It ain't even close. Sorry, he's going for the solar plexus. The chest, the chest, the chest. Chest, chest. I cannot stop laughing at just how this man dominated. Let me give you an example of why. I'm, I'm kind of wondering, are they being strategic or is this a real reality show? 
Let me tell you why I say that. See, in our country, we're full of betas. They want men to be emasculated. They want you to be feminized. And I would argue some people, they may go down the conspiracy theorist part and say, you know, the food that they give you, uh, the hormones they put in food, plastic, all of these things have estrogen in it, which drives down a man's masculinity and testosterone. However, I would argue as well is the propaganda and the way that they treat men, the way that they're raising men, the way that they're telling men they're supposed to act. Now, other countries have a vested interest in building their men up to be the men that they're supposed to be. All you got to do is look at the military video in Russia. Look at the army in other countries. Their men are men. Their recruiting video is high speed. In America, they got... I have two mommies. It's, it, they got nothing to do with fighting in war. However, I would not be surprised if they set this up knowing that these men would dominate, which to me will give young men an idea of their rightful position of masculinity. This, this whole thing probably has nothing to do with a reality show. This probably has everything to do with uh, the government using propaganda to posture up young men in their rightful position, to teach young men about strength, to encourage young men to be strong and courageous and dominant. But for too long, for too long in America, you, you ain't gonna never see nothing like that. This will be, uh, uh, what would they call it? Sexist homophobic, misogynist, the patriarchy. I mean, everything you can think of to emasculate men, that's what the description in America would be. Now, this is on Netflix, but I'm telling you, this is obviously not in America. But I think it's very interesting, and that's why I brought up and, and decided to tell you guys about the supplement and why I said I'm going to start taking this supplement because I really want to make sure that I'm, I'm prepared and I'm in beast mode. And I don't really take supplements like that. It's only like two supplements that I will take, but I only take stuff that I trust that I want to make me the best version of myself. And, you know, this is a perfect example in this video of how I wish that I saw more men in America portrayed like this. Now, football is a warrior sport. We get it. But in, even in football, the first female trainer, the first female kicker, they, it just they, they continue to try to involve themselves in emasculating men. It used to be more of a gladiator sport than it is today, meaning that you get knocked out on the field. My great uncle, Jack Tatum, I call him my great uncle. I don't know officially, but it was rumored that he's my great uncle. But Jack Tatum paralyzed the dude. Coming down the middle, pow, paralyzed. They didn't care. Laughed at him. Walked off the field. Told him to hurry up. Get him off the field, coach. But now they, they rub their back, and if you if your thumb uh, poked the quarterback in, in his eyebrow, you eject it from the game. It's like more and more they're pushing us to be weak. They're pushing us into, into being uh, proactive feminist, and I think it needs to change. Anyway, like and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the video. Let me know, was this too much? Was he wrong? Do you think this is propaganda? That America needs to get a, needs to get a, a hold of mentally, and also get you some supplements um, at BlackForceSupplements.com. I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.